Hello and welcome back to Kirby's Dream Land 3 with me Matthew Caddis aka Puggy. So the next few episodes will be the last three episodes of this game. Yes, we are going to finish Kirby's Dream Land 3 and uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, this episode will only contain one level as the next episode will contain the last two levels of Iceberg. So that being said, we're starting off here with Rick and Gooey, and I'm apparently abandoning Rick, I don't know why. I think I may have made a mistake with Rick, but I don't know. Um, I think it's because I wanted to get rid of Parasol here, which you can do here, seriously. Uh, but you can- oh, I, I don't know how to do get rid of it with Rick, basically, so yeah. Um, so what ability do I want with him? Parasol? No, I do not. I got that from Chili the Snowman! No, I don't think I did get it from Chili the Snowman. I think I got it from that, that stupid sandal wearing thing there. Okay, what about. Yeah, fire! Yeah, we have the Gunstar Heroes thing here going. In fact, no. Uh, the fire ability with thing that looks like out of, something out of Gunstar Heroes is actually something that was in Kirby's Dream Land 2, which. Yeah. I haven't played much of Kirby's Dream Land 2 because of. I don't have much of a Game Boy. I do have a Game Boy player on my GameCube, but I haven't used my GameCube in ages. Largely because I was the switch to HD in, in recording for my Let's Play, seriously. And even though I do have a thing that will allow me to record my thing, I haven't really talked much about it in my Let's Play, so... Yeah, it is what it is. So, that being said, um, Annoying Fire Dragons. Yeah. Their rage is pretty good, actually. Seriously, it covers two of those three icicles you stand on. And now we have two towards the very end of this segment, seriously. So they will damage you, seriously. Okay, so in here we have, um, I, I guess, an animal buddy room. So who do we have available? Coo the Owl! Right, I'll take Coo. Uh, I didn't mean to die there. I think I missed my jump. That was very stupid. Unless I did it on purpose, which makes sense. I only one unit of health you left, so that would equate to two hits in this game, seriously. Do I want the downward fire charge with Ku? Uh, maybe. I may want to. I, I may well hold on to my one health then. Yeah, okay, well, that was a wasted thing. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. What is in the other room then? Well, it is Rick again. So yeah, I think the fire charge will suit me better than the Gunstar Heroes attack. So I'm gonna go with that, especially with these stupid giant spiked icicles in here. Seriously, you can just fly through here with Ku. He is very, very fast, of course. And here, yeah, fire charge, baby. And yeah, go through there. Easily one of my favorite moves in the game. Seriously. And especially with Ku. Yeah, he does well, does Ku. And yes, while you are using the fire charge, he, both you and Ku are invincible. Yeah, you don't get hit by those icicles at least. I think big objects still hurt you though, like, no, no they don't. Well, although that one's made of ice, so yeah. Also, it is defying the laws of physics. Seriously, the momentum from that uh, giant snowball would have easily gone down the hill, seriously. What are you thinking, game? Then again. We're controlling a giant puffball that can eat enemies like he's... Okay, that isn't defying the laws of physics, but anyway, we're controlling a giant... Uh, a pink puffball who can eat enemies. Seriously. Well, they not get obese from doing so. So, yeah. Um, anyway, that being said, let's go through here and um, into the... Did I pause my game? Apparently I did pause my game. How long for? Not that long, thankfully. I think it was due to stress or something. I'm gonna say it was stress. And quite understandably, we are dealing with these chompers here. So yeah, and they only come near you. And this is also the case in Kirby 64, um, when you are close to them. So the fire charge, this is one case where the fire charge does not work in your favor. Seriously, I can't really fly with Ku here. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably... I'll take the damage! What the hell are you doing, Brain? I know you cannot maneuver the other way with the fire charge as far as I know. Let's see if my things prove me right. Okay, there we go. Yeah, just take the hit, man! 
Seriously, just take the hit. Okay, and can we get through there? Yes, we can. Even if he takes it, he's taking a hit. No, that was good. That was a good maneuver. I say so. I am also fat. Yeah, I think we proceed with caution in this case. Seriously, with the amount of enemies in here, it is definitely proceed with caution. Uh, okay, yeah, look at the amount of these chompers. Seriously. Fire charge will not work in this room. And that that's with the overly happy music being played in the background, seriously. I mean, it is a Kirby game. Happy music is the order of the day in many of the... Uh, Kirby games, seriously. Uh, but that being said, let's go through here and yeah, bust through the ice box! Yay! And some more health there. Much needed. Thank you. And more stars. Mm -hmm. And um, we have another room. Okay. My intuition tells me I want to go in there in case it relates to the heart star. And it probably does relate to the heart star. Because that would make some sense here. Let's see what is actually in there, though. Okay, so in this room, we have a bunch of ice blocks. Uh, they will just disappear slowly with Koo in place. So, yeah. And here we have Choo Choo. Okay. Um, and Peach on the other side. Okay, so... Let's see. Do I want to be able... I can't use the fire ability with, with Koo here, so I'm going to have to use Choo Choo. So, indeed, let's have her go up with her hot air balloonness. I hope it works because, yeah, indeed it does. She's able to plow through the uh, ice blocks fairly easily, is uh, Choo Choo. Very nice. And then I may have to get Koo back, I don't know, because um, Choo Choo's fire ability does not allow for downward attacks, whereas Koo's does. Yes, so this is about using your animal friends effectively so yeah which pretty good and at the very end is pitch pitch honestly i'm not sure you throw him like a boomerang with the fire ability which would not work in this circumstance so i'm gonna go back to choo choo here and have her um take out the rest of these blocks if i can there we go this is quite hard with the joy cons seriously uh, okay, do I want to- Yeah, fire! Um, fire charge, baby! You know I want coo. Sorry, Choo Choo. Um, anyway, that being said, let's go down here and um, get stuck, it seems. Anyway, um, yeah, and that's what we need to pick up, by the way. That snail shell. Um, that is needed for the heart star, seriously. So, indeed, uh, there we go. And a giant ass- Oh, what? A snow blob. Yeah, with the fire charge, no, it's a joke. Much easier than that stupid stool boss, and I don't mean poop. Nothing to do with one's poop, thankfully. Okay, so you can't get him while he's jumping, at least. So timing is necessary. Even though I suck at it. There we go. Shall I get rid of... No, uh, I don't want this. Yeah. Especially since this is an ice world, for goodness sake. Um, seriously. Even if it is the last world in the game, seriously. Anyway, that being said, yeah, get past these annoying school heads through here. Son of a Q-bone. Son of a Q-bone. I don't want to lose my fire charge, thank you. Yeah, I'll just go through here and uh, go to the next area. And we have a bunch of spinning kaboos here. In big kaboos as well. Seriously, I like them better when they when Kubu was the um, Oracle. And I don't mean like the one from, um, I guess like the one from the Matrix, but didn't speak in, in but, um, whatever the Wachowskis wrote it as in the Matrix films, but I can't call it a trilogy anyway. Quadrilogy, I don't know. I'm still trying to piece that they got rid of, well, Lawrence Fishman was quite old, I suppose, by that point, but still. Uh, I, I suppose the uh, Lana Wachowski wrote it as like uh, thing, but yeah. Well, that's not the only thing 
that the uh, Matrix Resurrections did wrong, and I haven't even seen the film. I'm still kind of pissed off that they replaced Morpheus. Even if um, Lawrence Fishburne is older than he than he was when he did uh, things in the 2000s. But never mind, maybe that's just me being old. Seriously, I'm at least middle-aged. Anyway, I'll fly over these guys right to the very end. Eventually see some very nice backgrounds there, seriously. Don't know what these guys are. I don't even want to know. It might be cool. Uh, never mind. I'm not even going to finish that sentence. There's an annoying... S and indeed, the, 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 the annoying-looking snail is for, for the one we needed to get his shell back from. Otherwise, no heart star. Anyway, that being said, we will actually face a boss rush on the next episode. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.